We all love our Star Wars heroes. From standing up against tyranny to being all-around great individuals who inspire the best in us, the heroes are often our favorite characters. But even the light can sometimes be caught in a bit of darkness, which can help humanize the galaxy's heroes. So sit back, enjoy, and make sure you subscribe to Screen Rant to regularly see great videos like this one. Here are Screen Rant's 10 dark facts you never knew about good Star Wars characters. And before we start, can you guess this movie from these emojis? Stay tuned for the answer at the end of our video. I have a bad feeling about this. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Master to Anakin Skywalker and brief mentor to Luke, Obi-Wan Kenobi is a fan favorite Jedi who fought as a general during the Clone Wars. But Obi-Wan has also had some shady things happening on the side and some questionable ethics in play. Obi-Wan has been caught lying multiple times to Luke Skywalker, as well as bending the truth and omitting facts from the young Jedi's training. A young Jedi named Darth Vader. He betrayed and murdered your father. Also, in Episode 3, he ventures to Mustafar with intent to murder his former apprentice. Instead of trying to bring him back to the light, Luke trained in a swamp and was able to do it. A mentor and a friend with decades of Jedi knowledge should have known better than to go in with intent to kill. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. Yoda. One of the most powerful and wisest of the Force users, Yoda stands as a beacon for overcoming the odds, no matter how small you are against them. But even the smartest and strongest of us all has fear and darkness inside of them, and it's no surprise to learn that Yoda's darkest fear is actually himself. In the final season of Clone Wars, Yoda searches for the answers to everlasting life, or how to become a Force ghost, and faces ever-increasing trials. One such trial sees him enter a duel with the manifestation of his inner dark side. The darkness points out that Yoda spends his time at war, surrounded by the decadence of war, and thus, the darkness is free to grow inside of him. The only way to be rid of the spectral force was for Yoda to honestly admit that it did indeed reside inside himself. Talk about inner conflicts. I assume you need something. Desperately. Maz Kanata. Fans came to learn of Maz Kanata in The Force Awakens, a small orange alien who was in tune with the Force and in possession of Anakin's old saber. However, when she's not dropping Force 101 on young minds, she's actually a feared pirate queen, offering credits, work, equipment, and connections to smugglers. You see those two? They'll trade work for transportation to the Outer Rim. Maz is heavily involved in the criminal underworld and will not think twice about throwing anyone in jail for breaking her house rules. You're Han Solo! I used to be. Han Solo. When he's not shooting down aliens in cantinas, sorry George, that happened, Han Solo is known for his smuggling skills, being a liar, and the determination to do anything to get the score done. One such move was getting revenge on a crime lord. In order to pull the heist, Han illegitimately married Sana Staros to make the ruse convincing. However, after the job was done, Han stole her share of the cut and abandoned her. I expect to be well paid. I'm in it for the money. Scruffy looking nerf herder indeed. Hello. Luke Skywalker. Hero of the original trilogy, Luke has had a fascinating arc from whiny farm boy to Jedi Master, but the road proved challenging for Luke as he often wrestled with the dark side. In Return of the Jedi, donning black robes and a hood, Luke Skywalker straight up force chokes one of Jabba's guards at the palace, a move commonly associated with the Sith and other dark side users. You failed, your highness. I am a Jedi. Luke seems to balance both the darkness and the light in him, being illustrated in the film's climax when his black robes come loose as he parts ways with his father, revealing the white material underneath. What will happen to me now? Anakin Skywalker. The Chosen One himself. It's no secret that Anakin has had his fair share of dark moments, from murdering a village of Tusken Raiders to, you know, killing younglings. Anakin has done his fair share before donning the black suit. I killed them all. However, Anakin had a prelude to all his darkness in the Mortis arc on the Clone Wars television show. In this arc, he meets the father, son, and daughter on the planet Mortis, and is ultimately given a vision of his dark future. However, Anakin keeps this vision to himself and does not bring it up to anyone's attention, forever sealing his downfall. We will discover the identity of your attacker. Mace Windu. As one of the most powerful members on the Jedi Council, Mace Windu is a force to be reckoned with when it comes to lightsaber combat. Heck, he technically bested Darth Sidious in a duel. But Windu has an ace up his sleeve that most Jedi don't have. Windu is able to use both the light and the dark side of the force, hence his purple saber. In the novel Dark Disciple, Windu even goes to the extreme as to suggest and implement the straight-up assassination of Count Dooku, something that goes against the very code he's sworn to protect. <laughs> Well, you said it, Chewie. Chewbacca. We all love Chewie, the furry sidekick and the best friend to Han Solo. 
just don't get on his bad side. Chewie, like most Wookiees, is insanely strong and has no problem using violence against anyone who gets in his way. In fact, in the novelization for The Force Awakens and a deleted scene, Chewie rips out Unkar Plutz's arms from his sockets after the Junker confronted Rey and himself in Maz Kanata's castle. Hey, I'm just getting started, buddy. Ezra Bridger. The protagonist of the popular TV show Rebels, Ezra has been portrayed as a boy who is slowly balancing the light side and the dark. However, it was the season 3 premiere that really surprised fans when Ezra mind controlled the pilot of an ATDP walker, forcing him to shoot down his allies before making the pilot walk off a platform while still in the walker in a terrible act of forced suicide. It's a really dark moment for the show and character, and illustrates just how powerful the Sith holocrons can be. Are you okay? Yeah. Ray. Many fans fell in love with Rey in The Force Awakens, the 2015 sequel to The Return of the Jedi. The film was the first time a female character was the lead, and she instantly won over legions of fans for her determination, personality, and adept skills, and, well, just about everything. It was a mistake too, puts too much stress Trust on, on the, the hyperdrive. hyperdrive. But even Rey had a moment of darkness unknown to most fans. In the canon novelization, Rey temporarily embraces the dark side during the duel with Kylo Ren. When on his back in the snow, she hears a voice in her head encouraging her to kill the fallen Jedi. Those are our picks for good Star Wars characters that have had dark moments. Do you agree with our list? Can you think of any other good characters, canon, or expanded universe who had their own moments of darkness? And the answer to the movie emoji is... Did you get the right answer? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Screen Rant for more fun videos like this one.